Hello everyone, it's Lisa again. So I know I haven't done a vlog for a little bit, but I just kind of wanted to come on here and say something that's been bothering me. Um, today I found on Facebook that my dad, who I don't really call my dad, he's more like my, my sperm donor, he, um, he's going to Colorado to go kind of to see his girlfriend's son's kids, it would be like her, her grandchild, and it just, it kind of upsets me a lot because my dad, he, it's like he treats her, his girlfriend's son a lot better than he, he ever treated me. Like, he got custody of me from my mom who was neglecting me when I was younger, and I know this is kind of a very personal vlog for me, but, um, he got custody of me from my mom when I was about, I was just about to turn seven, and he basically abandoned me on my grandma and grandpa's front doorstep, and I love my grandparents, I mean, even though we fight and everything, but I love my grandparents for the fact that they raised me as one of their own. And I used to live in Squaw, but I didn't, I didn't always live in Alturas, but when I was in um, Squaw Valley, which was east of Fresno, um, it was just only an hour away, and he didn't, he couldn't be bothered to see me. And even though I lived an hour away from him. And my understanding of the situation is that his girlfriend at the time, he still is his girlfriend, um, she tried to get him to have a relationship with me and he just couldn't be bothered. And when he did pick me up for the weekend, he literally sent me in front of a TV in a literally a hoarder's field, like trash department. And I just stood in front of the TV all weekend. And like on the computer. Like he really didn't do anything with me when I was a kid. So my grandparents told me that when we moved up here to Alturas in 06, I. Like the reason why was because my dad just wasn't there so they said well you know what he's not really going to be there for her so you know just we're just going to move and you know what really sucks is my grandparents said that they told me that they would have stayed down in Fresno if my dad was more involved with my life but he really wasn't and like it just really sucks because he never went to my high school senior graduation but he flew from Fresno to Missouri for his girlfriend's son's boot camp graduation from the Army. And now they're traveling to Colorado from Fresno, as in driving, to Colorado to go see his girlfriend's son's baby that they just had. And I don't, I'm not, I'm not mad with his girlfriend, I'm not mad at her son, I'm just mad with him, because he seems to get more of a damn, he gives, he, he seems to give a damn more about him than he does me, and I don't think that's really fair to me, and the thing is, is that, um, my dad is wanting a relationship now that I'm 25, and I'm not interested in having a relationship with him when I'm already this old. I mean, if he tried when I was younger, maybe when I was like 15, I, I probably would have been willing to have a relationship with him. But here I am, 25, and I don't want anything to do with him. Like, it just, I just don't. And apparently, he blames my grandparents for brainwashing me into bad mathing him. You know what? They didn't brainwash me. Because I didn't even know about any of this until I was, you know, I don't know, 
until I was like 23, 24. I didn't know any of this. And even if I did know any of this, I probably still wouldn't have a relationship with him. And it just upsets me that he says, oh, well, they brainwashed you. And it's like, they didn't brainwash me. They, this is a choice that I've made on my own decision. And the fact that he was never there. Like, why would I have a relationship with someone now when they've never been for me when I was growing up as a kid? Like, he was never there for me, you know, when I broke my collarbone when I was nine, when I got bucked off a horse. Um, I never, you know, like, when I had stomach surgery when I was 18, he wasn't there for me holding my hand in the hospital, my grandpa was. And, well, when I was out on my own and I needed some money and I asked him, like, hey, can you help me out? He wanted to sit there and talk to my fucking roommates. And excuse the language, but it's like, he wouldn't give me money unless he talked to my roommates. And it's like, you don't need to talk to my roommates. I need help. He wasn't even willing to help me through that. And, like, my mom was. And, like, I don't even really have that great a relationship with my mother because she never was there. I went to go to Eugene, Oregon, that's where she is right now, and to drop off my half-brother, and I, I gave her the opportunity to come and see me, and she never did. Like, she literally stood me up, and she told me she got off work at 2, and I was all ready to meet her and everything, and she didn't, she didn't, say, she didn't, she just stood me up, and like, I don't, just, to, to, basically tell to, or not really to tell but basically to say that my grandparents have brainwashed me it's actually not true I wasn't brainwashed into being against him I've made this conscious decision 100% myself and I don't have any regrets you know like I know that his girlfriend's son has a kid and I guarantee that if I ever had a kid he wouldn't even blink an eye to me and that's what's sad, is that if I had a kid, like, if I had a kid right now, not saying that I'm pregnant or anything, I'm not pregnant, I really am not pregnant, but to say that if I ever did become pregnant and I did ever have a kid, he, he wouldn't even, he wouldn't bat an eye about it, he wouldn't give two shits about it, and that's, like, what's so heartbreaking, and it's, like, and my grandpa says, you know, he hates to see me upset in the way that I am, and it really is, it really is upsetting to me, because at the end of the day, I'm, I'm just a victim in all of this, and that, you know, it, it really sucks, because I am really just a victim in all of this, and my understanding, from what Grandpa understands, is that his girlfriend was even trying to get my dad to see me more often, and he just couldn't be freaking bothered and you know what it, and like the thing is is that because of the way of because of my mom and dad they've showed me examples of what not to be as parents like I want to my goal is to get married and you know with someone who actually will be there if we have kids or just be there for me I don't know if that's probably not gonna happen to me honestly um but I just want that, and I don't think that's really insane goals to have, and if I don't have biological kids of my own, I mean, I'd rather adopt because there's plenty of kids out there that can use good homes, and I'm willing to provide that to kids who really need help, you know, and we, you know, there's so many kids who can use really, really good homes, and I'm willing to give that to them. You know, when I'm older in life and when I have a more stable career and everything, and I'm willing to do that. I don't know how many people my age will say that. But I just wanted to come on here and make a little vlog and make a little rant, and I'm sorry, but this is a little personal, but, you know, it makes me feel a little bit better that I'm able to voice it, and maybe people can hear me or they can probably take what I have to say and make them feel better. But anyways, have a good night. Love you guys.